Gary Meyer on the 50,000-watt blabbing cabin whenever that plays. Either there's a lottery story or the Illinois lottery superintendent is in the studio. It is the latter. Michael Jones is with me, and he is visiting with Erica Borgren. She's the director of the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs, and being that it's the day after Veterans Day, and last year Michael and I talked about this, this is a good thing the lottery does they put out a ticket that benefits our veterans and that's why they're here to talk about that and michael and erica welcome so this this thanks for having us can you redo that song to if i had 185 million dollars i know you're gonna uh, plug the powerball jackpot for (laughs) wednesday i'm already in okay great as as general petraeus said i'm all in oh well in his book Mm -hmm. so that is on wednesday but you're promoting the veterans ticket because well, again, a year ago, I was on your show uh, because we were introducing uh, a veteran's cash instant game. It was one that I inherited. I was in my office perhaps for the first two days of my exist- re-existence as lottery superintendent, and Erica Borgen walked in, and she's the director of, of uh, Veterans Affairs, Rhodes Scholar, graduate of West Point, unbelievably accomplished individual, and she said, what can we do with veteran's cash? And this is what we've done. I mean, this year's ticket is a beautifully designed uh, ticket. The prize structure has changed. The advertising is much more robust. We're really pushing this hard. And uh, Eric and I were at a press conference just a couple of days ago at Lighthouse for the Blind, one of the uh, uh, places where we uh, give money that is generated by Veterans Cash, a company that helps uh, blind and uh, and, uh, disabled people to uh, learn skills and get uh, back into the uh, workforce, including a a great number of veterans. Isn't that right, Erica? That's right. Several of the veterans actually there that day had been rehabilitated via funding from the Veterans Cash Program and and now volunteer there or work there. It It was a pretty inspiring ceremony that day. Now tell us when the ticket became available, how long it will be available, how much goes to the veterans groups? Well, uh, it's on sale now at every one of our 8,100 lottery retailers throughout the state. If you don't see it, please call us so we can make sure the retailer has it. Uh, And it will be on sale until it sells out. Hopefully it will sell out readily. We have 1.4 million tickets. They cost 2 bucks a piece. So you risk $2, and if you win the big prize, you win $20,000 instantly. And if you don't win, out of every $2 ticket, $0.60 goes to programs that Erica funds through the Department of Veterans Affairs. And that $0.60 cents really adds up. I mean, we've granted more than $10 million worth of uh, funding to organizations on the front line working with veterans that are struggling through the transition. And it's been a real joy over the last 15 months to be on the committee that actually grants these dollars out uh, to see the work that's happening because of them and to even have met a lot of the veterans that have benefited from it. So it really does make a big impact when you add it up. Especially because you hear these stories when these guys and these women come back The government taking care of them to a point, but it seems like it's not completely what is needed in in how they get back into society. And some of these guys and women are are really banged up and need all the help they can get. So this is where a nice safety net becomes available with the lottery. You know, the other thing, too, Gary, is I remember when I was here last year that I was thinking to myself about Veterans Cash. What a wonderful thing to represent what a lottery does, which is raise money for good causes, really. But it gives you an equal chance to win a lot of money. And I thought about it in terms of, you know, my war, which is the Vietnam War or, you know, Korea or our dad's World War II. And what I found out was that it's a young person's game, that it, that the majority of people buying veterans cash tickets are people whose brothers and sisters and uncles and friends have served in Iraq and Afghanistan, as Erica did. And I think that is one of the things that has just become so compelling about this game, because we walk around every day. We pass thousands of young people that we don't know that we're in Iraq and we're in uh, Afghanistan. And uh, Eric and I were talking about some statistics earlier uh, before we came on air. Ninety percent of those veterans who wind up being homeless received honorable discharges. These are fine, fine people. Um, twenty, only 29 percent of all veterans getting out of the service recently are confident that they're going to get a good job because they, they fear that their skills don't transfer. And Erica has done this amazing job of developing these programs to teach veterans how to reintegrate themselves into society. 
Right. It actually gets to what you mentioned, Gary, that there are still needs beyond really what the federal government provides. Truly robust programs at the federal level, but nothing is going to provide the therapy at the ground level, the, these augmenting recreational therapies, or as Michael mentions, the, the companies that will actually come sit down and coach a veteran through doing interview training or, or translating their military skills. Uh, so that's what these funding this funding goes to, to help these augmenting programs help veterans. And the money collected is for veterans in Illinois only? Yes. So that's that's the good thing. We're taking care of our veterans here in Illinois. That's one of the things you should point out because there's obviously other, I'm sure, lotteries around the country that might do the same thing. But this is for our Illinois veterans, which we have to help. You know, Illinois is really the only uh, state in the United States and the only lottery in the world that has these special games for special causes, whether it's multiple sclerosis or AIDS uh, prevention or breast cancer awareness and prevention, and now with Veterans Cash. We really have here an amazing program that uh, allows people who have never played the lottery before or who play the lottery all the time to do something specific for something they believe in with the full knowledge that they can win a lot of money. And again, working with Erica on this, um, they go through a very uh, rigorous uh, program to determine who they're going to give the money to, and either on their website or on our website, you can track every dollar. So this is one of those games where when you play and if you're not lucky enough to win, you know that the money is going to something like Lighthouse for the Blind on West uh, Roosevelt Road. And Erica, if veterans want to get in touch with you about some of the programs that you fund, how can they do that? All of those are available, as Michael mentioned, on, on our website, Gary, at veterans.illinois.gov. We list every organization that's ever received a grant, uh, link to them, actually, uh, so people can know exactly where those those funds are going. And, and like Michael said, I think we find that, and I hear this often when we talk about the program, folks really struggle to find a way to operationalize, really, the term, thanks for your service. And this is one of the very concrete, tangible ways that people can do that. And, and so we've found great receptivity among you know, just the Illinois public wanting to help in this way. All right. Let me say one other thing, which is really fun. So on Veterans Day last year, Eric and I went all the way down to Peoria, Illinois, for a hockey game that was going to be in the hockey game was organized for Veterans Cash. And they asked me to come out onto the ice to drop the first puck. I was so thrilled. She brought her son, Ethan, a little boy who just was fascinated by the entire thing. He gets dragged along a lot. Ethan Borgren dropped the first puck at the Peoria Riverman game. I don't think he's ever forgotten it, has he? Surely has it. So this is a a wonderful thing on Veterans Day that she and I get together to talk about veterans and how to fund veterans programs. And you let a little kid take over what was supposed to be your dropping of the puck. That was so nice of you, Michael. When I told my son, he goes, what? Yeah. Well, your <laughs> he completely son is, co-opted it. So. Well, his son is 25, yeah. so I, I think he Six could will win, sure. So that will win. Okay, so everything's good with the Illinois Lottery. It's called Veterans Cash, $2. On sale now, it's a scratch-off ticket. And 60 cents of every the $2 goes to veterans in Illinois. Yeah, please try it. Uh, I think you'll enjoy playing the game. I think you'll uh, enjoy the fact that you're helping veterans, as Erica said. And it's a wonderful gift to all of your friends who ever served and a way of acknowledging their service. And a good stocking stuffer as we head into the holiday season, one of those things that will benefit people in the long run. Thank you, Erica and Michael. Always good to see you.